Welcome to the Mimic Social Simulator. I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to use it and how to get started with it. So, uh, when you log into Mimic uh, and you begin, you're going to uh, be taken to this screen. This is going to give you some valuable information, so you're going to want to really make notes as far as the information that you collect on the screen. Also, there's going to be this helpful Welcome video that Mimic you can Social. watch. The that will take you so through uh, every step of the way and how to actually perform but, this uh, simulation. So it's very important that you do watch this video. Uh, so if you can, please watch it, um, and it will help you along the way. This is an outline of everything that you'll learn. You'll be able to create ads for both organic and paid uh, social posts. Uh, you'll be able to me uh, measure key performance indicators. Uh, also, uh, create ads for earned, owned, and paid, perform demographic targeting, utilize variation and promotional, test different promotional strategies, analyze data, test social media content, maximize a promoted and organic posting, manage an actual advertising budget, and utilize different social media strategies. <clears throat> Next, uh, you're going to be asked. Here's the scenario. You are a social media specialist at Bowie Supply Company. You've been asked with helping the company optimize posting across the social media channels to drive engagements and conversions on Bowie's OG bag line. Next, you're going to hit continue. You'll notice that, hey, you got an email from your supervisor. Congrats on welcoming to the team. I want you to read this email, right? This is exactly what you're going to do. Next, uh, Janet is going to give you a one, a one uh, Welcome minute to Bowie. Where explanation about who Bowie is and what they do. Make sure that you watch it and take notes, please. Next, because they're going to talk about what their business goals are, right? So make sure that you take notes. Next. You're going to learn about the market. You're going to learn about their products. You're going to learn about the market, who their customers are. And these are personas, or these are segments of your customer base. It will say, um, it will have a persona name that is a generic name for um, uh, that represents the segment. It will tell you how much of the market, uh, how much of the market uh, that demographic and that segment makes up their age range, their de their uh, gender, their income level, and their interests. This is all important information uh, that you use <clears throat> in your targeting for your social posts. So please make notes of each one of these uh, segments of your market. Next, you'll take a look at analytics. Each week after you perform a simulation, you're going to get analytics and metrics about how well you're doing. Things like clicks, shares, reactions, comments, impressions, page likes, so on and so forth, uh, will be provided for you for both Facebook, for uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and TikTok. Uh, finally, you also have a budget. Now, it's important that you spend as much of your budget as possible. So if that means that you make 15 social media posts for a week, you make 15 social media paid posts. You want to make sure that you spend as much of your money as you can uh, that's available to you. After you're done reviewing all this information, you can hit the Get Started Now button. It will move you into round one. Here, you'll have some information as far as a note from VP, right? There's a scenario. You're going to hit continue. It's going to give you an email. You're going to read through that email. You're also going to look at all of these emails and notifications that you're going to receive. Finally, 
you're going to start creating social media posts. Social media posts are very easy to create. All you're going to do is create by clicking on the platform you're going to use. Here is where you can write your uh, text and add media. Let's select, let's make this, um, and you'll notice there's prices for each one of those things. So you can either use a free or you can uh, use a, uh, a paid one. Let's use a free one. Get back to school in style. Buoy bags are on sale this week. Hashtag back to school. At any point, if you uh, forget any important information about the scenario, you can click on the scenario overview and go back to it. Uh, that way you can review any of the information that you need. Uh, resources are available too, as far as trends and the audit. Uh, any of that information is there. From here, you schedule your post out. And again, we want to try to schedule around 15 to 20 posts per round. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to schedule this post. I have one post now scheduled. Let's go ahead and make another post, right? Let's add an image and make this a Twitter post. Walk the city in style. Jump over to Bowie to see the latest urban collection. Take your scroll down Main Street to the next level. As far as scheduling, I'm going to schedule this maybe at 3.43 3 o'clock p.m. and hit OK. Now when you schedule and what, I'm going to go ahead and hit schedule post. Now when you schedule and what you're going to talk about and what you're going to say has a lot to do on uh, the, the, uh, the, the market that you're going after. So Energetic Jill is age range 19 and 32, right? What channels are she, you know, what type of, uh, what type of uh, things does she like to read about? Well, she's in this fitness, right? She's in the fitness. And let's look at Twitter. Twitter age group is 14 to 25. Looks like she fits into that uh, age group really well. So I would reach uh, Energetic Jill with uh, Twitter. Uh, Facebook skews a little bit older. So if I'm looking at a Facebook post, I'm thinking maybe an older demographic. And an older demographic, let's see, we have Hipster Mommy Cammy. So if I'm making Facebook posts, I'd probably make them towards Cammy and what she likes, right? Gear for school. So that back to school post is very cool. So I'd write it in that. So again, re reference, this, reference this scenario overview on a regular basis and make posts towards those different segments. Again, I'm going to want you to make 15 to 20 posts, maybe even more. As you can see, you want to use all of this balance. So after I've created 15 to 20 post people, I'm going to go ahead and run the simulation. I'm going to pretend that I've used all my budget and I have 20 posts. I'm going to go ahead and run my simulation. Now it's going to tell me what my posts have done and how well they worked, right? And as you can see, I have some impressions and I have some conversions and I can see that, hey, my get back to school in style produced two sales.
right? With $80 worth of revenue. So that's pretty good, right? After I'm done with this, I am able to continue the simulate simulation and move to round two. Again, round two will be uh will have your information available to you that you can go through the scenario and follow the instructions. Each week, the each week you'll have different uh, information as far as your social posts, um, notifications to respond to, uh, information that you need to pay attention to, and a specific scenario of what you're supposed to accomplish. So that is how you use the Mimic simulation. Just make sure that you keep an eye on your uh, social media uh, analytic numbers and try to uh, try to improve each round. 